you know, there are about 9,600 students in the Bryan School District, and about half of those attend uh, the district's eight elementary schools. Our Ashley Lunningham joins us now. She visited one of those elementary schools today where they have a unique and important program for students with disabilities. Ashley, tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. Bryan Elementary uh, actually last year was recognized as a national unified school, and that's all thanks to a club called Club Unify. Um, and everybody who is in the club say they all have a wonderful experience. Club Unify, a place where new friendships form and bridging the inclusion gap is key. Pairing up elementary students or partners with other students with disabilities or athletes. Teaching the partners and the athletes how to work together. We practice whatever sport that we're working on at that moment for Special Olympics. And the lesson plan that we do, we work towards rolling that out into school engagement throughout the year. Athletes Jackson Rosenbaum and Aiden Delaware say they have made many friends in Club Unify and love all the activities they get to do. May, um, business and posters. Including the game Bocce. Play Bocce every day. Partners Sayla Gadbury and Fran Terlia say they love the program and are grateful for the lifelong friends they've made. We make posters, we just have fun with them, and we just like comfort them. We do have a big um, like game planned. It's where we um, do bocce and like tag football and all of that. And I'm going to do bocce with my friends. I think they should be included like us. Caitlin Robinson with Bryan Elementary says it teaches partners leadership skills, while also teaching athletes social skills. But she says it's more than that. Growing up together at a young age in elementary, it helps them kind of bridge that inclusion gap. So teaches that just because you are different on the outside, that doesn't mean that you can't do what every other kid can do. It just has to be done in the right way that fits for them. Yeah, and you can see there they're gearing up for their fall games with Special Olympics, and they're playing a game called bocce ball, yeah. which I've never heard of until today, <laughs> and they were great. So it, Their faces were lighting up, you oh, can tell, yeah, as absolutely. they were playing. A great program here in Bryant. <laughs> All right, Ashley, thanks very much.